Before I start, I just want to send my prayers and thoughts to Charlie's Kirk, his family, and the nation. A great man was lost by evil. Jump gears. I, I reported it earlier, tried to get some eyes on this early, about maybe four hours ago. And I'm here listening to, looking at from Brazil, astronomer trying to... He's trying, been trying to get information. So while uh, he's working on that, hopefully he'll get lucky. I checked the miner. I checked out NASA, nothing. Yeah, it hasn't been given a proper name, so it's not on there. And I did check some. It is on their, their site on Minor Planet. I did use that code, that designation tag right here. Nada, strikeout. And I went to this Facebook, the Discoverer, right here on uh, Comet Observation. There's the name. Martin, can't pronounce his last name, Mystic. And he's putting this information out 12, he put it out 12 hours ago. Here's an image of the new comet designated as SWAN 25B from the Institute of S Physics of the Czech Academy of Science provided. So his comet should be given those two names. And that's the filter, that's the, and here's the comet. The, the image he took, getting a lot of response from the astronomer community. I try to get as much information as possible I went on um, Google, I got this from Earth Sky, published today, and it has information on it. I'll check Soho in a little bit. Magnitude 7.4, that's pretty bright. It's in the constellation Virgo, find Mars. The comet is currently just below Mars. So it's just below Mars in Spica, the wheat, Virgo. And here's the image of it, just recently discovered. This is new, it's a tight end with Okay, it hasn't been given a name yet. That's probably why I can't find it in Stenarium. I checked that. I checked some other sites that I'm uh, used to seeing. So I went to on Stenarium. This is live. Let me let me put in 3i Atlas. Okay, so that's where 3i Atlas is located. We have other comets here that I reported a couple days ago. And here's Mars, and there's another one near nearby. Okay, here just below Mars. Here's Spica, the wheat. So it's lined up perfectly with the harvest. Remember, this is the harvest, this is the wheat. Just below Mars. This is current time, just below Mars. Let's see if we see anything. Remember, I cannot, it's not programmed yet, so it's not showing up. I tried all the names. So we'll see if I, try to see if I get lucky. Nope, but look where the position's at. Now, as we all know, Mars is moving in this direction, towards the foot of Virgo. Oh, look over here. We got some light. The sun is obstructing it. We have the Sun and Mercury, under, the f and we got v Venus over here. We got Jupiter, put it back, 3-1, so many comets now showing up. In the video that I put out regarding Spitzler, I asked the astronomer, please take a look at Mars. Just had a hunch something was going to happen. So, it's right below Mars, it's in Virgo. Here's three eyes moving in this direction with the rendezvous on October 2nd or 3rd. And then we got this new comet popped out of nowhere and look where it's positioned right here. We don't know the movement and we have, we do have another comet. I think it was 2025 K1 Atlas. And I think it's in this area also. So this article is here. Now we go back. Let's see where else, what I was, I was been trying to get some information. It's on there. I tried JPL, nada. I tried some other sites, nada. Back to this right here on Facebook, there's other sites, and there it is right there, posted 12 hours ago. So th these are images, and it's pretty bright, seven pointer, a lot of response in the astronomical community. Now here, this image here, now if you look closely, you know, I've been doing this for 30 years, guys. I've done hundreds of comets, I'm not trying to brag, just the facts. Okay, here's the direction of the sun. The direction of the sun is over here. If this is correct, from Sol, Sol means sun. First thing came to my mind, is this an anti-tail? I mean, anti-tails are rare, rare, rare. If you look at my my site in the search, put down anti-tail, Vetfather, I covered anti-tail comments before. So I'm trying to get confirmation on this, on this data right here. Right next to Mars, 
And I, again, I don't know the direction it's traveling because the data hasn't been provided yet. I mean, this is preliminary stage. This popped this surprise. Ba this surprised all the astronomers. Just trying to say, hey guys, take a look at Mars. Take a look at Mars. Now I'm wondering if this is it's in Virgo. We know that. Let's see, very green, 1.7 degrees of tail. It's pretty. So it's a pretty big long tail. So apparently, what is they're studying? So I got it. There's no indication what what direction is the sun here. You see the program I'm having, but it's fully being covered. I mean, it's like three eye atlas just dropped off the map. Again, here's another one. The sol pointing in a different direction. And so if it's moving that way, the sun is behind you. You expect the tail to be facing this way. But again, we don't know how it's traveling. This is 13 hours ago. I mean, if it is pointing towards the sun, that's an anti tail, folks. But again, no con any confirmation. And here's image of 3i Atlas. Oh, God, 3i Atlas. That was yesterday. What if they got that object in front? Here's the other comment I was talking to you, 2025 K1, which is also, as I last check, in Virgo by the foot. Let's see, this lemon. Lemons by the lynx. If I had a, all these constellations, got thousands and thousands and thousands of words. In one word, speed. Virgo, harvest. Harvest. And we got a comment that showed up right after the tragedy yesterday that spiked the consciousness level to red. And I'll explain what, what I'm talking about there later. I'm focused on this right now. So there it is. As soon as I get more information on this, guys, I'll pass it on. This link here. I mean, I mean, he's he's trying. He's trying. I put a link down here. It's from Brazil. It's Portuguese. But I can understand. And, but apparently, it looked like he got cloud problems. His site is, is freezing up also. So he's going to try tomorrow and do, Domingo, Sunday. It, yeah, he, so he was focused on 3i Atlas, just like all of us. And this popped out of nowhere. So he got cloud problems. Apparently, he got taken. But he's, he did attempt. And pretty soon, others will hopefully do in the southern hemisphere. Apparently, let's check out Soho. Okay, I'm on space weather. So it does have it on space weather. But there's no designation yet on a name, so we can easily track it. 7.5 magnitude, bad enough to see with a backyard telescope. This is the camera array, Soho. Okay, Let's see if he put a link to it. No, it won't make me look. Look at the tail. That has to be millions of miles long. And it looks greenish, bluish in this setup color. And I'm trying to, next, it might make a close approach to Earth, zero, zero, zero point two five AUs in October. When in October? And zero, and it doesn't have NASA, zero point, wait, 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 hold on. Okay, I put down root three to give me, what is zero point two five AUs in miles? So we're looking at 23. 23.24 million miles away from Earth. That's close. But since we don't have no calculations, we have nada, nada. So keep an eye on this. And 3i too. Um, as soon as, as soon. I mean, it's right below Mars. It's right in Spica. Look at the position. Look where Mars is at. It's on that line. It's right below Mars. This is live, folks. Right below Mars. Nothing so far. As soon as this thing gets programmed, we get some sort of, we get numbers, anything, anything. But this is too coincidental. And let's go back. This is happening so fast. Remember Earth Sky, you Google it. As soon as we get a designation number, Let's go back to space weather. Okay, this this was from space weather. The comet's future visibility remains unknown. It might be on the verge of falling apart. So that's why we need to find out the direct, what path it's taking. I mean, could it be like 73P path? Read between the lines, it's in the harvest. So let's take a look at Soho. I mean, if it does break apart, we, we need to keep an eye on this then. Where are you, Soho? Okay, right here, Soho. They got me running slow, folks. Okay, we're looking at Soho site. Look at the sun now. Let's see if we see anything. This is live. Sorry, this is Mercury. Mercury. The old man's losing it. 
Okay, I don't see the planet Mars. Okay, I can't get no information on new comments on this servers down seem to have on our server so they're they're not providing nothing let's go back let's go back just check out the sky check out the sky see if they got anything on this okay the real time okay the sun and mercury in conjunction oh they took well remember we got that partial solar eclipse eight days away and looking at this i don't see it since this is just happening so fast there's no no information but let's take a look at 3i 3i okay it's in libra scale of justice okay we got other comments here there's k1 let's take out this check out the speed since we're here look at that look how look look how my system is you know i'm gonna be putting up uh, uh buy me a okay so there we have it and it's fuzzy so there's there's 3i there's k1 they're both pretty soon 3i's leaving libra the scale here's mars right there there's no comet registered yet Let's check out the speed man you should see the all the wheels spinning around for all the sites okay the speeds increase again 64.7 and it's now 324 million kilometers from the sun 380 from earth perihelium still the same they haven't changed that okay we're on the sky 3d map now this add okay i added the two comets during now the couple no where the other set mars use mars as a reference okay here's just look at it from a point of view okay that's earth right there right there so as you can see i'm having malfunction issues i mean they just the most important event and the vet father cannot even function because i bring more than one percent now now it's not moving okay well, there it is it's moving slowly let me get this arrow out of the way apparently that's having an effect okay there's earth right there on top now let's see if i can get the pointer out now so here's mars here's 3i right here here's the other one it's in virgo looking at it from earth so we don't know where the other one the other one's at but i know it's close by that I know. We got another comet over here by the foot of uh, Virgo. Just wanted to see if I get an idea. Perihelium on the eighth. I can't get the that I can't get the data from from NASA on this comet. 25K1 Atlas. Hit the search. Incorrect. Search contains one or more bad characters. Take away Atlas. See now. I have no problem before. Okay, there it is. Closest approach. 0.16 possible it's got 2020 observations so a lot of eyes let's check out the 3d map let's make this larger that's pretty close 0.16 so let's that's the date that's the distance from earth it's at 0 0.9 zoom in on it there's earth so it's already passed by earth so, so earth is not in danger but uh, perihelium's right down here let's take it uh for next month October October 12th so that's what that would be just had to see earth earth is not in danger with this comet but on this date 3i would be right here where the point is at let's check out 3i see what it shows us okay that's that's the designation they're going on with n1 606 <laughs> gotta be kidding everybody's looking at that that should be like 7,000 observation okay I'm being frozen up that's the current distance 2.5 let's take it to next month not working it's not working frozen up it's not working oh there we go again okay vet farther out i'll get back as soon as i get more data adios give me a thumbs up subscribe and boy do we got a lot of look at look at it's like somebody took control okay vet farther out